Give him praise. With a shout. You want to make it louder. Make it louder. Make your shout stronger. Hallelujah. You brought your handkerchief for morning praise. Come on, lift it up. Let's celebrate the name of the Lord. Hey! Handkerchief!
That deserves praise. Can you give him a loud shout? Thank you, Jesus. Please take your seat. Send the light with supernatural speed. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for this opportunity. We're praying and praying for the retention of souls in cells. And we're taking our scripture from Acts 13:44. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. We're shortly going to rise and pray saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we send the light of the gospel to the unsaved all through this year, empty the cities into our churches. Let every little effort bring in a massive harvest of souls. With this understanding, kindly rise on your feet and pray, pray to your Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we send the light of the gospel to the unsaved all through this year, empty the cities into our churches. 
Let every little effort bring in a massive harvest of souls. Lord, we are praying for a massive harvest of souls. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we send the light of the gospel to the unsaved all through this year, empty the cities into our churches. Let every little effort bring in a massive harvest of souls. Pray in your understanding and pray in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please take your seat. With a grateful heart, you all still want to appreciate Jesus. Come on, go ahead and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We'll be rising in prayer in a short while, praying for the word. And we are reading from the Psalms 107, the verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. This is going to be our line of prayer as we rise. Father, in the name of Jesus, send us your life-transforming word as we gather in worship. Let the word bring us healing and deliverance in all our services. You want to rise on your feet, watch your screens, and passionately affirm this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, send us your life-transforming word as we gather in worship. Let the word bring us healing and deliverance in all our services. Send us your life transforming word as we gather in worship let the word bring us healing and deliverance in all our services Send your life transforming word. He kapanda bada bahat, rabaya da basanda babat, anda braba babu saya payahat, rabanda baba babat, anda braba baba babu sanda babit, rekapanda bada babat, abrando brobo sianda babat. Church, your prayer has just been answered. Go ahead and appreciate him with a thanksgiving. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Have we prayed with thanksgiving? You may please take your seat. We send in the light with supernatural speed. Shall we give a mighty clap offering unto Jesus? And let's appreciate our father and mother. So briefly, our book of the month, uh, Healing in His Wing, God of Miracles, and the Healing Scriptures. And I will encourage everybody to get copies of all these books, because they will be life to you forever. Hallelujah. Get copies for colleagues, for friends, and for everybody. And I want to touch on something briefly. Um, in this book, Jeremiah 8.22, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? And third, John 2 says, I wish above all things that ye will prosper and be in health as your soul liveth. Now, from, from these scriptures, it is clear, and as daddy taught us the other time, that God's in original thought for everybody is to be in health, is to have divine health. All right? Now, in the beginning, as Daddy taught us in Genesis chapter 2, the verse 7, the breath of life that God gave unto man entails divine health, which means a state which is whole. You know, to be healthy means to be whole in mind, in spirit, and in body. All right? To be sound, 
in body, in spirit, and in mind. And this is what God prefers for his children. All right? What happened then if the original intent of God is for us to be healthy? In Genesis chapter 2, the verse 16 and 17, because of sin, a man exposes himself to diverse kinds of things, and including that is sickness. All right? So sin brought sickness onto earth. And in this book, that be established that Jesus' coming is to restore us back into our original state, which is to be healthy without sickness, to be healthy, to be sound in mind, in body, and spirit. So salvation includes divine health. Now, in the event that we fall short of divine health, God has made provision for our healing. Hallelujah. So healing is just the process of getting cured, the process of being restored to our original state. And there is only one person who can restore us to this original state, which is divine health, in this book. And that person is the great physician. Hallelujah, somebody. That person is the great physician. And who is the great physician? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Put your hands together for the Lord. In other words, from this book, it is clear that no matter the form of affliction, the form of sickness you are suffering from, there is a cure in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So there is no disease that has no cure. Now, physically, doctors may say that this and that disease has no cure. But in God, every disease is curable. Anything is healable. Hallelujah. So to be restored back to divine health, we must accept Jesus. We must apply the tools that Jesus has prescribed for us to be healed. And what are some of these? The oil. What are some of these? The communion wine. What are some of these? The body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as you get copies of this book, you get more revelations. Get a copy and your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Send the life with supernatural speed. Help me thank the Lord Jesus, the owner and the builder of the church. And also let's thank God for the life of our father and our mother. As we kindly make ear for the following Faith Cathedral announcements. Number one, church leaders and workers summit will take place this afternoon at 12.30 p.m. So all church workers and leaders should be here promptly. And secondly, women's ministry meeting is scheduled to take place this Wednesday, which is the 10th of April at 6 p.m. And the theme is, leave me at the altar with my father. Hallelujah. All women are invited. Number three, Ghana End Time Prophetic Conference with Prophet Sadhu Sanda Salvaraj will take place in this auditorium from the 17th to the 19th of April, it will be a Wednesday to Friday. And the time is 6 p.m. each night. There will also be a special minister's conference on the Friday, and the time is 9 a.m. Number four, the Vedic concert with Pastor Akese Bempon. It will take place here on Sunday, 21st April, and the time is 5 p.m. We are all invited to this special concert for an awesome experience with God. Let's take note that with this concert, we'll be expected to give love gifts. Love gifts. So there will be tickets. Mind you, you are not paying for coming to worship God. You are just giving a love offering towards the program. And if you are giving a love gift for single, it's 50 CDs. For double, it's 80 CDs. And for VIP, it's 100 CDs. But the good news is that if you are a holy healer, all the amounts you are only expected to give 
50% of it. So for the single, for all holy healers, it's going for 25 CDs. For double, it's going for 40 CDs. And for VIP, it's going for 50 CDs. Hallelujah. So if you need, if you need a ticket to prove your love gift, you call 247 174167 for your tickets. Hallelujah. And number five. SBS presents Singles Night. And the theme for the Singles Night is the knowledge that keeps relationships. The knowledge that keeps relationships. And it is on Sunday, 14th April, and the time is 5 p.m. I will be here. You must also be here. And finally, our next Send the Light Crusade is scheduled to take place at Agogbloshi from 2nd to 3rd May, 2024. We are all encouraged to pray and give towards this crusade for massive harvest of souls. God bless you. Send the light with supernatural speed. We are unstoppable. Let's give Jesus a big hand of praise. And then help me, let's honor our Father in the Lord, Reverend Dr. Kodio Watson Ben Park. We also want to celebrate the first day. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus. So I'm also here to share with you good news. The good news is that a new world is coming. Just give me your attention. I want to explain something to you. A new world is coming, according to Revelation 21. This world that we are in currently is passing away with speed. And as long as this world is concerned, there is nothing like a bright future. The world is actually heading towards doom. But for those of us in Christ... We are the ones who can speak of hope for a bright future. Why? Because our garments have been washed in the precious blood of the Lamb Jesus. We are saved. And so according to Revelation 21, we are going to be with God in eternity. In that new world. And in that new world, the Bible tells us there is not going to be death. No sickness, no pain, no sorrow. Nobody's going to cry there. It's all going to be joy and joy and joy. And God does not want only you and I to be in that world. He wants all men. And so from the scripture in 1 Timothy 2.4, we understand that the hard desire of God is that all men will get to know him so they can be part of that new world that is coming. How would they get into that new world? Through Jesus Christ. But we are told in Romans 10, he says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. And then he goes on to ask, how can they be saved? Without a preacher. They must hear about him. Somebody must preach. How would there be a preacher unless they are sent? And so all of us sitting here are being sent by our chief shepherd, our father in the Lord. Clap your hands for the Lord. So, this is what God's servant is telling us. We are embarking on seven days of radical soul winning. This is the good news. Clap your hands for Jesus. Everybody sitting here has a responsibility to make sure that at least you add one more person, two more persons, Three, four, five, six, ten, depending on your capability and the grace God has bestowed on you to bring people into the kingdom. And we see an example in John. John 1, 41 to 46. Andrew met Jesus. And it didn't end there. He also brought somebody to Jesus. Can you project for me John chapter 1, verse 41? John 1 from verse 41. He said he first finds 
his own brother Simon and said unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. When you read further, you will discover that all those that came to Jesus also brought others to Jesus. So are you going to sit down and watch the friends around you, your family members, the father that took care of you in school, the mother that took care of you to go to hell and to miss this new world that is coming? A responsibility is laid on us to rise up and go out there and preach to others to bring them to Jesus. So our father is saying that this campaign is going to run for seven days, from Monday, that is tomorrow, to Saturday, day and night, morning and evening. At least, try and speak to two people every day. You can do this. Yes, as you take that trotter, as you sit in that taxi, you can speak to the taxi driver. As you go to that hospital, somebody is sick. It's an opportunity to minister the healing power of God to them. You are hearing the message about healing. It is an opportunity for you to exercise your faith. And through that, somebody will be saved. We are told that the Spirit led a man called Philip to the Ethiopian eunuch. It was just one person. But some Bible historians believe that it was through this one Ethiopian eunuch that the gospel got to Africa. So it's not even about the number of people you are bringing, but just one person you can speak to can make a huge difference. That person can bring 100 more people, 1,000 more people, 10,000 people one day. That person can become an evangelist that will shake the world for Jesus. You can do something. It is not too big for you to do. So let's all rise up and respond positively to this call. Clap your hands for Jesus. Send the light with supernatural speed. Psalm 105 verse 1 says, So give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. So this morning I'm here to make known the deeds of God among us. And if you're excited about that, let's put our hands together and appreciate the Lord Jesus who keeps working. And also thank him for the lives of our father and mother for availing themselves to be used by God. Please do it better for the Lord. Our first testifier, Brother Noah, he says, Supernatural Academic Success After Academic Miracle Festival. He says, I'm a student of KNUST who came for the Academic Miracle Festival on Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024. For about a year, I had been finding it difficult to pass my exams, both mid-semester and end of semester ones. So my expectations during the program were very high. During the service, Daddy prophetically declared supernatural change in grades and that there would be no more failure. We had written a midterm exams and the lecturer had passed, had posted our results on the notice board the Friday before our coming for the program. A friend of mine who taught me the course failed, so I was scared to check my results. Because of this, I received Daddy's declaration with all my heart. When we returned to campus, I prayed to God not to let me see failure again in my life. And with that prayer, I went to check my results in the morning. People of God, to my greatest surprise, I passed. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Thank you, God of Holy Hill Chapel, for this success. I know this is the first of many more to come. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, let's put our hands together for the Lord, appreciating the Lord with our brother. Can a man say his headache supernaturally healed after dancing? On Monday, the 11th of March, 2024, which was the second day of the Send the Light Crusade at the Art Center, I began to feel pains in my chest, which persisted till that evening. During the service, Reverend Dr. Kojo Boate Benpa shared the word of God with us and led us to praise God near the end of the service. He encouraged us to believe God for a miracle and participate in the dance fully, and I did. Praise God. Without knowing exactly how it happened, I realized after the dance, 
that the pain had supernaturally disappeared. <laughs> Hallelujah. God indeed is good, and I am glad I encountered him. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, celebrate the Lord with a clap for this testimony. Our final testimony to be read before we take our live testimonies is from Sister Ella. She says, healed of diarrhea after four days. She says, I suffered a severe case of diarrhea, which only went after I attended the Send the Light Crusade at the Art Center on Sunday, the 10th of March, 2024. That evening, I listened to the word shared by Reverend Dr. Kojo Boate Bempa, and I just had faith for my healing. Praise Jesus. After the program that evening, I did not visit the washroom to ease myself, and I was able to comfortably and confidently attend the program again the next day. Thank you, Jesus, for this touch. I am grateful. Let's celebrate the Lord with a clap. <laughs> Want to invite Sister Ellen, who testifies of supernatural healing from stomach ulcer after 19 years. Celebrate the Lord with a clap even before she starts. Send the light with supernatural speed. Church, help me thank Jesus, who is the owner and builder of this church. And help me thank mommy and daddy for this great opportunity to share my testimony. So I want to testify for supernatural healing of, from Ulsa after 19 years. So I joined the church in the year 2021, December. And in 2022, um, January, we had prayer and fasting. And within the days, um, Daddy was praying against and declaring healing for all sorts of sicknesses. And I was sitting at the back there, and Daddy wasn't mentioning um, ulcer. And Daddy had come to church um, having severe heartburns. So I quickly bowed down my head, and I asked God whether he didn't want me to be healed. So immediately after that short prayer, then Daddy said, there is someone here having um, stomach ulcer. God said you are healed in Jesus' name. And immediately the pain ceased. But I decided to give my, myself some time. I gave myself six months to assess myself whether I was completely healed. And within this um, six months, I ate all the foods that the doctor asked me not to. Um, taking oranges, pineapple, and then six months, because I, I cannot go uh, a week without having these pains from ulcer. But I went throughout the six months without any pains at all. And so now that I'm talking, I don't have any pains at all. Glory be to Jesus. And I haven't visited the hospital. Last year, I went to the hospital once for checkup, and there was nothing like ulcer. And this year, once, and I've told God I'm not going there again, just like last year. So I want to thank Jesus Hallelujah. for this great healing opportunity. And I want to thank Daddy so much Amen. for availing himself to be used in our era. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mary. God bless you. And just like she was located by a word this morning, a prophetic word will locate you. That will bring your healing in Jesus' name. Please say a better Amen. Finally, we welcome Sister Lydia, who testifies of divine favor and healing from polycystic ovarian syndrome. Send the light with supernatural speed. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy, for this opportunity. The Lord has been faithful to me so much. So, on the 24th of October, 2021, it was a healing and salvation service. I was seated at the top and... During the service, anointing service, Daddy declared healing. So I touched my tummy with the anointing oil, and we were praying. So during the service, or at the end of the service, I was feeling pain. So I decided to go for checkup um, two days later. When I went for the checkup, God being so good, there was no cyst found. Previously, I've gone to check, and there was a cyst. But after the service, there was no cyst found. And this is what the Lord has done for me. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy, for this opportunity. I'm sure some of you don't understand this polycystic ovarian syndrome. But for me, when I was believing God for a child, that was the reason why I couldn't give birth. So for God to heal her of polycystic ovarian syndrome, it means God has delivered her from infertility. This morning, any cause of infertility will bow to the name of Jesus. Celebrate the Lord with a better club in Jesus' name.
for us all. For 38 years, there was a man by the pool of Bethsaida. And the Bible says that this man has been laid there for many years. He says, anytime the pool is stirred and I'm about to jump in, another step ahead of me. But that very faithful day was his day. He was looking at the physical water. But by the time he turned, the healing stream himself was standing right before him. The healing water himself, Jesus, was right beside him. And said, pick up your bird and begin to walk. I am the healer. I am your healing. I can wash away every debris of sickness in your body today. On the mountain of Zion, there's a healing stream. Oh, Shabbat. On the mountain of Zion, there's a healing. His cleansing that's woke. On the mountain of Zion, there's a healing stream. On the mountain of Zion. There's a healing stream. Oh, Sabbath. Healing stream. Oh, healing stream. On the mountain of Zion. There's a healing stream. Hey! He's Jesus Christ. He's your healing stream. On the mountain. Of Zion, there's a healing stream on the mountain. Set. On the mountain of Zion, healing is coming. There's a healing now. stream. It's blowing everywhere on the mountain of Zion. It's washing your womb. Healing that healing swim is washing your kidney on the mountain. I don't go home. It's washing that cancer away. On the mountain, my God, there's a healing swing. Lift it up.
We are worshiping him in case you don't understand the song. You are the rose of Sharon. You are my peace. You are my peace in the midst of the song. As we sing this song to him. You are me. You are the air that I breathe. We are the air that I breathe. your hands together for the Lord. Lord if you are sick, expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. We are being attacked every day. But there is a bomb in Gilead. Clap your hands for the choir. Take your seat. Now, before I go on to my message, I want us to look at this scripture, Isaiah 1.9. And I want you to make a decision today not to join the multitude of people following the devil in these last days. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know any moment from now, the flight to heaven will take off. The modern day church has become too materialistic. I want to get that. I want to get that. We are almost losing consciousness of heaven. And yet, Jesus saved us to escape this useless world. The world is so useless and stupid and foolish that we, we will almost need the rapture to come and carry us. Men are getting mad. People are rebelling against God. And we have to even pray tomorrow. Tomorrow is 8th of April. 
those in America and other, there's, a, there's coming a special eclipse. And they believe that maybe something will happen. But whether something will happen or not, I'm not one of those that something bad is going to happen to. <laughs> Lift your hand and say, I am exempted from trouble. <laughs> and so look at this scripture. And I want you to know, don't join the multitude. Today, even in the church, when, when I talk about the church, not this one, the whole church, it, people seem to, they want to push the Bible aside and, and follow something else. But look at this scripture. Isaiah 1, 9. Put it on the screens everywhere. I want you to make a decision today to separate yourself. In your office, be separated. Amongst your business partners, be separated. He said, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So let everybody shout the nonsense they want to shout. But God has a few selected people. You see the way the world is going? Every nonsense, all of them are following. But that doesn't mean you must also follow. Except the Lord has left for us. Yesterday I was in a place and I met a group of pastors from different, different denominations. And they are saying to me that when you get the boldness to, take, to say the kind of things you say, I said, this is my boldness. Accept the law. Tell your friend, don't be like everybody. <laughs> Else you will miss the rapture. You will miss it. The father, you see a big church. Multitudes are going. Mm. That doesn't mean God is there. Today they go where God is not available. Because when you go where God is, he will confront you with your nonsense. Except the Lord of hosts has left a, a very small remnant. A very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom. And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Put your hands on your chest. I want you to pray this prayer. That God should separate you. From the depravity that is coming in our world today. Today people will sell their salvation for money. People will sell. And the things they want to get is already reserved for us in heaven. So it's just deception. You want to be telling yourself, you won't join the slave queens. You won't join the prostitutes. You won't join the drunkards. And a, 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 a man of God is from Baptist. He, he, said, he, said, he said, man of God. I, om, I was almost swayed to where everybody's going until I read the Bible. And he began to mention the things when you do, you will not make it to heaven. And he mentioned them one by one. I think Revelation 16, 8 or 8, 16. He said, fornicators, this, this. Today, People are reading the Bible, but it's like everything goes, everything goes, everything goes. Everything cannot go. If you go where everybody is going, you miss God. He said, broad is the way. This is not my message. This is just introduction. Broad is the way that leads to domination. So if you want to belong, don't follow politics. Don't follow tradition. Follow the word of God. Enter ye at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way. That leads to destruction. And many there be. Many. Many people. Are moving on that way. Why? We are afraid that somebody will attack us. We are afraid that people will say. Hey, why are you like that? We are afraid. Jesus was some way. Power, some way. Very, very some way. So, if you don't become some way, you may miss the way. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. You want to be like everybody? Take it from me, I'm your pastor, I'm telling you. That even pastoral ministries have been corrupted today. Except we stay where the Bible wants us to stay. Many so-called people jumping in the church. They are going to miss it. So, let me take you back to my Isaiah. Take your Bible and underline that scripture. That scripture. Why is he using Sodom and Gomorrah? Fire came for them and fire is coming for us. So that's the best example he will use. So those of you who have been told there is no more hell. To them, man of God will stand and he say, heaven is, this is heaven. This is heaven. Are you mad? 
Is this one heaven? A world of gonorrhea, gonococcus, HIV. The sickness that stopped the church. What is in it? Coronavirus. Can this one be heaven? People are getting accident every day. People eat food. The food poisons them. Can this one be heaven? Heaven is a place where nothing dies. You see, one of the characteristics of heaven that nothing dies there. In heaven, you step on the flower. The flower comes through your leg and smiles at you. Oh, say, oh, chile. Brother, you are not chilling, no. It's not chilling. Oh, there's no chilling. It's a wicked, mundane, stupid place. That's why Pastor Les told us that another world is coming. God has prepared for us another world. Go to the hospitals and see the number of people there. If this place is heaven, go there, you see. Those of you who don't go to hospitals, you think nobody's sick. Go there, you will see. You will know this place is not heaven. So ladies and gentlemen, today this world, eh, the thing that are shameful is what people are clapping for. Pa, 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 like this. So this is my quotation for you. Bonus blessing. I saw it this week, I, 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 and I'm sharing with anybody I meet. Except the Lord has left for us a small remnant. There can even be a house where the wife is part of the remnant or the man is part of the... The other partner is not part of the remnant. Whilst the wife is coming to church, the husband is sitting at a mutual joint Sunday morning. Boozy. Mama, don't get confused. Except the Lord has left for us a small remnant. You know the prayer I want you to pray, Lord, make me part of the remnant. Make me part of the remnant. Don't follow what they do in your office. Don't follow what they do in Ghana. Don't follow what they do in Africa. Follow what the Bible teaches. Otherwise, many people will be surprised. When the rapture happens, boom! And we are gone. Now you are now coming to believe the Bible. It's going to be too late. I told the men of God, let's go back to Luke 16. We need to start preaching about hell. The modern day people don't fear who. They, they, they are not afraid. The girls are not afraid of anything. The girls. I don't know if you have heard about a story of a man in East Legon who, 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 who is picking university girls. And he won't sleep with them. Give you money, give me money, give me money. The day come, he said, come and sleep with something. He has a snake. And one girl slept with that snake. And from that day, maggots are coming from under her. Money. Money. Where are the young girls? Stand up. The young girls. They have no shame. The more young girls of these last days have no shame. All of you shout mercy. mercy. The modern day girls. No shame. People's husbands is what they like. Curses. And they come and show it. And they don't care. Their eyes know they die. And when they move there. Sit down. <laughs> Everybody point your finger to this scripture and say, Lord, please. Make me part of the small remnant. Yes, it's not everything they even preach in church that is from the Bible. Make me part. Don't say I didn't tell you. Make me part of the remnant. And today by social media, every consumable is being consumed. Make me part of the remnant. Let your desire be one. One desire in this life. That one day Jesus will say to you, thou good and wild, faithful. Don't have any other vision. Your desire to be one. I want to please Jesus. I want to live to please Jesus. With that desire, boy, you may you make it. I want to live to please Jesus. I want to live to please Jesus. The deception that is about to come into this world, people have not seen. <laughs> I got deception. But except the Lord has left for us a very small remnant, 
What was in Sodom and Gomorrah? Don't let me go there. Let's preach it. Let's, let's, let's continue our message. Today they will threaten you. They will say, people are threatening people preaching righteousness. Don't say that one is evil. Don't say that one is evil. Don't say that one is evil. Human beings are becoming too proud. Don't quote the Bible. Man of God, don't quote. Even what you are saying, that's not what it means. Direct you. Accept the law. Lift your hands. Say law. Pray, pray. Say law. Make me part of the few who are following Jesus. Few, few, few. Pray that prayer right now. I'll give you two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Today is very simple. Even if you have a husband, you can have multiple partners. Even if you have a wife. All kinds of nonsense are being celebrated in town. Hey! Small remnant. We will have been like Sodom and Gomorrah. So I wonder, why are you in church? Do you want to make it to heaven? That must be the reason why you are here. That must be the reason why you are here. Do you want to make it to heaven, the city of God? I'm not preaching for nothing. I want to make it. I want to make it. I want to make it to the city of God. I pray for you, the grace of God will keep you. To be part of the remnant, the remnant, the remnant. And our house will be turned into Sodom and Gomorrah. Somebody shout the biggest amen you can ever shout. I didn't hear the remnant shouting amen. So ladies and gentlemen, watch out. If you, you want to always do things that are popular, you are going to miss the end time. Now, this month we are treating healing. Now today I want to share with you covenant defense systems in the healing covenant. Covenant defense systems. You know, one of the things the devil is going to use to destroy people in these last days is sickness. Why? He wants to send men to hell very fast so they will not come into contact with the salvation message. So everybody who have died without being saved is a colossal loss. Don't die if you are not saved. Anyone who have died. And he kills people by two things. Sense. Is killing but God has given us to overcome these two things by his blood we are saved from sin so he can't use that one to kill us now now he comes to attack our physical body but God has made provision for us we call it the healing covenant he made a covenant of healing with the church we have a healing covenant with God. In other words, he has made a promise to heal us when we get sick. He has made a promise to keep our body strong. Sickness, there's no man that sickness does not attack. But it cannot bring you down. And that healing covenant begins from the Old Testament. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. Exodus 15 26. Anybody that came here sick today, you will be healed before you go home. Shout amen. amen. And he said, if thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, if you would listen carefully, and would do, so there is something to do, that which is right in his sight, not in your sight, not in the sight of society, not in the sight of what is popular, you will do what is right in his sight. And this is what makes you look some way. And will give ear to his commandment. And keep. And keep. All his status. I will put none of the diseases. Upon thee. Which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that he led thee. It's a covenant. He was telling those that serve him that. Those that disobey me have to go through. You know the diseases that came to Egypt. Now. The original translation reads. I will not permit. Because God doesn't have sickness to give. 
I will not permit any of the diseases that came upon Egypt to come unto you. This is a promise to every seed of Abraham. Now he emphasized this promise in Deuteronomy 7.15. Follow Bible. I'm, I'm talking from Bible. This is the only book that will correct us in these last days. Otherwise, very soon you are there, somebody will just slap you and take your phone and say, it's my right, I feel it. I, I feel it is my right, that I, I want a phone. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. This is a good promise. So if you are sick, you take the scripture like that. He say, Lord, this is what the word says. This is what you can, I cannot continue. The Lord will take away from thee. This is how you challenge God. Even in prayer, don't just pray, oh God, heal me, heal me. No, no, no. Point him to the covenant. Recently, somebody needed some money. And, and, and one of the precious sons of the church gave this person money. The person promised heaven and earth. I will pay, I will pay. Finally, the person went to court and he said, he didn't give me any money. What? It's not a small amount of money. But he didn't know we took him a picture once he was signing the paper. That was the only testimony. Wicked man. He said he didn't give me anything. In court. So you need something as a testament. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, but I will lay them upon all them that hate thee. May the Lord send every sickness back to your enemies, back to send. This is a covenant. He is telling you, this is the promise I promise you. You have to know it. So when you get sick, le brakata, le kataya, ribaba, le kese, father, this is what the covenant says. I, what is happening to me is no covenant. Psalm 105 verse 37 gives us a clue as God fulfilling this particular word. He has done it before. He brought them, he brought them forth be very fast on this machine for me, please. Did you check it? If the person is not is sleeping, wake him up. He brought them forth also with silver and with gold. And there was not one person feeble among their tribes. How many people? Three million people are walking in the wilderness. God gave everyone health insurance. Not a single of them was sick. Boy, clap your hands for the Lord. Hmm? This is why, first of all, I want to go to heaven. A God that can secure the healing of multitudes. He kept three million people. Nobody. No Qatar, no malaria. Hey, people like eating. No, they eat, uh, no diarrhea, no constipation. So people, when they lift a bread, it's a one bread like this, one person, he can fire all with water. He kept them. <laughs> Strong. Put it in the amplifier. Or PTP. Let's see what PTP says. He has done it before. He's a faithful God. Somebody shout, I refuse to be sick. Because there is a covenant on my life. Say, say there is a covenant on my life. At last, God freed all the Hebrews from their slavery and send them away laden with silver and the gold of Egypt. And not even one was feeble on their way out. Not even one was feeble on their way out. Amplified. I want the, I want the scripture to say something. He brought the sons of Israel out of Egypt with silver and gold. And among their tribe, there was not one who stumbled and ivy. And I, there was no one. Hmm. He brought them out of Israel, lady with silver and gold, and from among the other, no one faltered. 
There was no one weak, sick amongst them. Not one. He has done it before. So this is the history of the covenant. Then bringing us into the New Testament, he showed us the covenant in Isaiah 53, 5. This is Isaiah prophesying. Almost 400 to 500 years before Jesus was born. We were part of God's healing covenant. But he was wounded. No, no, this is one of my best scriptures. When I read it, something passes through me. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Somebody shout amen here. Out for the world, apart from their hospitals, they don't know any other place to go for healing. Charlie, serving God is so sweet, oh. My God. The lady said, I was, he was sitting at the back there. He tested the healing covenant after six months. Go prove it through. He said, no more, no more, no more, nothing, 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 nothing. He, she didn't pay consultation fee. She was just sitting there. <laughs> hospitals are good, but God is better. <laughs> God is but he can operate on your body without anesthesia My God, nobody will put you on any bed you will be bathing he will catch you and remove the cancer out of your body so we have a history of the healing covenant he was wounded for our transgression so Isaiah 53 5 reveals the, the new covenant the healing covenant in the new testament and every seed of Abraham has this as part of his inheritance. So, Matthew 8, 16 to 17. Look at it. Matthew 8, 16 to 17. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast them out. The spirit is there. And heal all. Heal all. Heal all. Heal all. Somebody say all. all. Not some. Heal all. That were sick. When I read things like this, I get excited. No hospital can heal all. But he healed all. That it might be for fear. So the covenant, he's showing you the covenant in the New Testament. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, He himself took our infirmity and bear all our sickness. Lift your hand and say, in the name of Jesus. Every sickness I'm going to have, the one I have, and the one I will ever have, have been carried away by Jesus. Say it again. Say it's carried away by Jesus. Let every devil hear your voice. It's carried away by Jesus. So I don't have it anymore. Technically, I don't have it. He bear, he carry. Mm. My God. He, he took it away. So all believers must know it is God's will to heal them of every sickness because according to the Bible, sickness is an oppression of the devil. So in heaven, there is no sickness. This is your useless world. Every day, trouble. Every, even the medicines they send to hospital. Focus on heaven. But before we go, we will taste heaven on earth. There are people here in the next five years, your back will not touch any hospital bed. Now, this is a good place to shout amen. I said, in the next five years. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus. My God. This is a great physician. The balm of Gilead. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost and with power, as a Savior just encouraged us. Who went about doing good? Healing all. Anytime I see all, I get excited. Healing all. Everybody's matter is covered in this scripture. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So, sickness is an oppression of the devil. Basically. Okay. I ate too much. That was why my stomach was spinning. Who moved you to eat too much like that? <laughs> I ate an expired biscuit. Who told you? 
I've overworked my body. So it's important. We must wage war against sickness and disease. It is not God's will, but the devil's plan. And since sickness is the devil's oppression, look at 1 John 3 8. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Sickness is the work of the devil. So Jesus came to destroy the work of the devil. That lady said, I have cysts. The cyst, is it the short form of sister or what? Hmm? It's what? Cyst. Woman sickness. Okay. I won't go there because I won't understand. He that committed sin of, is of the devil. Look at it. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Why did Jesus come? Why did, from this scripture? Don't think. Look, it's there. Now, don't think and check any note. It's the, thing, the answer is on the board. Why did Jesus come? Why did Jesus come? Give me examples of the works of the devil. Sickness, poverty, curses. My God. Pornography. The works of the devil. Jesus' purpose. Everything that destroys human life is Jesus' purpose to destroy. And so when you and one work of the devil is sickness. Sickness are the devil's major works. So Luke 5.15, the Bible said people followed Jesus they follow Jesus to hear him and to be healed. So when you hear him, you will be healed. But so much the more went there, fame abroad of him. And great multitude came together to hear and to be healed of their infirmity. They came to hear and to be healed. Today, as you are hearing, you are being healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your friend, refuse to be sick. Sometimes when your body is behaving, you lay hands on it and say, hey! Don't misbehave. So right now, as I'm preaching, I see healing taking place. Somebody is being healed of back pain. Somebody is being healed of a pain in the chest. Luke 5, 17. Luke 5, 17. For this purpose, this is one of Dr. Maurice Lolo's greatest scriptures. The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Luke 5, 17. It came to pass on a certain day. Somebody said that day is today. He was teaching. Look at it. He was teaching. And there were Pharisees and doctors of the law were sitting by which have come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of God was present to heal. <laughs> Somebody shout. Oh, you don't need to go too far. Just sit as we are teaching. He was teaching. And the and if he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, you are leaving this place sickness free. Yeah. He was teaching. So take the word and believe it. And then receive your healing. Take the word and believe it. The word is the bar. Now, you know, this thing is too complex and simple at the same time. Jesus is the doctor. He is the medicine. <laughs> he is the prescription. One man. My God. Everything. One man. Everything. That's why no wonder the Bible said the world was made by him. The world was made by him. There was nothing that was made without him. Don't play with Jesus. Oh, and don't compare him to all these other stupid gods that people mention their name. Don't try it. 
Some of the gods, they are in stones that Jesus created. They've hidden them stones. Jesus created the stones. They went and hid inside. Jesus created the rivers. They went and hid inside the rivers. The day the river will catch fire. There was a young man here. He used to do this sakawatan. And he used to go for medicine from Burkina Faso. And the, it's, the medicine is a river. So every year, he will carry his laptop, visit the place. When he comes, start breaking into people's bank account. One of the years, he went and the river has dried out. That was the end of the medicine. That was the end of the medicine. A God that can dry out. He came up to Accra. The pot they gave him uh, in Kokomeme is missing from under his bed. The next day, he was arrested. He used to own houses. He lost all of them. He used to have buses. He lost all of them. Until he became so broke, he was sleeping at Independence Square. A God that can expire is a God we are worshiping. A God with an expiry date. But for our God. He is the ancient of days. He said forever oh God. Somebody give you some clap of here. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. The Bible says he is the Alpha. And the what? Omega. All things were made by him. So today he is healing you of that sickness. Now, many people don't have problem with healing, but they have problem with how to maintain their healing. Now listen, from this book of the great physician, this is his prescription. When you go to hospital, you see that some, most of the doctors after diagnosis, they will take a book because the medicines are written in the books. Okay, this sickness that this lady came with. What is the problem? His mouth is getting too long. Eh? Let's check the medicine. Let me know. This one they added instead. Of that. You go to the dictionary, pharmaceutical dictionary, long mouth, and you will check. Uh, so, what medicine? Maf mafiosis. Okay. Sister, go. Bring it there. He will write. Mafiosis. Take one in the morning, take one in the afternoon. My God, my God. Lift your Bible. Lift your Bible. This is the, the prescription of the great physician. Every medicine you need for total health is in this book. Somebody say it's in the book. So today we look at seven covenant systems. There are certain things when you do. But you are going to live strong. Powerful. And these things are gained from the physician's prescription book. It defends us against sicknesses and diseases. So today we look at seven. number one. <laughs> number one will fascinate many people. Titan. My God. Man of God, are you looking for money? How is Titan connected to healing? Okay, let's go on. Ecclesiastes 7 12. Hmm? For wisdom is a defense, money is a defense. Stop there. Defense. It can defend you against sickness. But what type of money? There are too many different, different types of givings. Which one of the givings is a defense? Titan. Malachi 3 10 11. Follow me. Don't say what is the pastor saying. I'm saying what the Bible is saying. Bring all the titans to the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And put me now there with say yes the Lord. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to carry. Verse, verse whatever. And I will rebuke the devourer. The word devourer means destroyer. And nothing destroys a sickness. Now, many people's monies have been eaten by sickness. Buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. My wife was telling me yesterday, somebody was walking outside and he fell down. And then they check something. They say that blood is oozing out of his brain or whatever, whatever. And to drain the, the blood out, $17,000. Ghana here. As soon as they drained the thing out, four days later he died. 
17,000. This is why people get broke. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that when he tells you that I will rebuke the devourer, sickness is part of things that devour. They eat money. I've never seen anybody who went to hospital, they say, buy medicine, he's negotiating. Wet him so crap. It is your life. You just run. Until, until, see, until, see me don't throw. Yes, and anybody you call to will respond to you. So nothing calls for emergency financial assistance like sickness. But when you are a tighter, go rebuild the devourer, including sickness. Somebody shout, I got it. So he tells you money is a defense. So Titan can defend you against money eaters. Which sickness is number one? Titan. You, you don't connect the scriptures well. Zachariah 5. He said the curse of the Lord is in the house of a thief. And then in the verse 4, he said that when that curse enters your house, it will consume everything, the stones and the timber. Nothing consumes like sickness, the cost of health. Therefore, when you tight, God defends you against sicknesses. And of God, what are you saying? Psalm 41. Let me convince you. Titus, there is something called Titus, right? I learned it from the man of God, Kenneth Copeland. The man of God, Kenneth Copeland. Yesterday, I was listening to John Avenzini. One of the men that God gave the covenant of prosperity. He's, he's left with two years, will be 90 years old. Very strong, very fresh. Mm. Why? Papa Copeland, 87, jumping on the altar. These are chapter titles. Chapter titles. Hmm? Psalm 41. The relationship between healing and titan. You see it. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Eh? But here he's talking about giving. Giving to the poor. The tithe we bring to church. We use it for all kinds of ministrations. Minister, last time I saw a big Margaret, he was signing. He, he said, Bishop, can you sign this check? I said, ah, do you still have some money in this thing? That was our mercy and compassion account. Signing to pay school fees of the poor. Signing to pay hospital bills of the poor. So those of you who don't know what we do with our money in the church, this is what we do. This money, they will provide a lot of food for people. Blessed is those. So you don't give tithe. You are not part of those servicing the needs of the poor. Blessed is he that services who consider the poor. The Lord shall deliver him in trouble. Look at it. In trouble. Put it in New King James. I want, to, I want them to see something. You are not a tithe. You open yourself for sicknesses. Now, Blessed is he who considered the poor. The Lord shall deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. Quickly. And then he says, The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Alive. He will be blessed on earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. What is the will of his enemies? Verse 3. The Lord will strengthen him on the bed of illness. Clap your hands for the Lord. When you get sick, because we have used your money to minister to the poor, God will jack you up from the bed of sickness. And he said, he said wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You will be sustained. You will sustain him on his sick bed. Not many people jump out of their sick bed. Some people from the sick bed to the grave. But for you as a title, I declare in the name of Jesus, anytime you hit the sick bed, you will jump out. I say you will jump out. I say you will jump out. Ask your friend, are you a titan? That's why the devil is attacking the titan covenant. Because he knows. Yesterday, John Avenzini said, when the Bible said, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, he said one of the things that people don't know, titan gives God the right to bless you. So he says that, those who don't tithe, have taken out of God the power to bless them. You understand it, that way it's going to help you. But now, Titan is connected to sickness. I will deliver him. 
I will rebuild the hypertension. Mm. Yes. So money is a defense. Defending you. It's a defense. May every titan here live longer than all his enemies. All his enemies. And the sickness that kill your grandmother because you are a titan. You will just walk over that sickness. Understand money before money confuses you. And use money for the right things. Don't use money to be buying cars for girls who are not your wife. Use money for the right thing. Use money for the right thing. But one day we are going to give account. Number two, covenant system. So as a tighter, you are secured from sickness. Number two, covenant system, honor your parents. Honor your parents. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 5.16, Deuteronomy 5.16, Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God has commanded thee that thy days may be prolonged. It is a sickness that cuts short people's life. Your days may be prolonged and that it may be well with thee. So when, how is he? How is he? How is he? Oh, he's not well. He's not well. He's not well. He's not well. Anytime they use the word well, they are referring to sickness. But are you well? Are you, how are you? Oh, I'm very, very well. So that it may be well with thee. In the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. It is also repeated in Matthew 15 4. Old Testament, New Testament. Look at Matthew 15 4. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and thy mother. He that curses his father or mother, let him die the death. Wow. People want to use prayer to cover many things. You can't cover this one with prayers. Are you honoring your parents? Friday, I used $1,000. My brother said, Benny, you don't need to send me money. He said, Mama, you may not need the money. I need it for my survivor. I learned a great... Pastor Benny, he is a great healing evangelist. He said, every Friday I send my mother $1,000. One, he was saying it on Pastor Chris show. The whole world, they were listening. And you hear such a thing and you won't take a decision? You hear such a thing and you just, he just, the man is talking about his he said, So he said one of his brothers said, one of, one of his brothers, he will never send anything to their parents. He said, after today, that my brother is a permanent struggler. He said, anything he touches, it doesn't work. Many people are suffering today because of covenant system they have abused. Ask your friend, when was the last time you sent something to a parent? Ask him for me. Ask him direct. And you want to live well? Hey, you can drink cold day, away, away, paracetamol, and eat the pharmacy shop yourself. You'll still not be strong. It may be well with you. Then we come to Ephesians 6 1 and 2. Parental blessing keeps men from sickness. For lack of knowledge, people are suffering. And let me tell every holy healer, do you know what is going to save you? Everybody make it your practice. Send something to your parents every month. Yeah. Write it. Write it. No matter the amount. Don't think about amount. Send something to your parents. Let it be a practice. It can be 10 cities at your level. As God increases you, the day you can buy a car, buy. The day you can build a house, buy, build. That he made, you know, I quoted from the old and I quoted from the new. But the new even give it more strength. He said, you can die. Many people are jumping in the city while their parents are wallowing in poverty. My God. One of my daughters here, he built one business in Accra. He went to Kumasa, built one for her parents. And the blessing, shh. How can you forget those who took care of you when you were young? How can you forget those who used to take you to hospital? They paid your school fees. When you didn't want to go, you wanted to be an illiterate. They refused you. Some of us didn't want to go to school. Mommy, leave me, leave me. So chat. Even food you don't even want to eat. You have to pour the cocoa inside. Because Shoko will have killed you. 
Today you say you don't have money. You, may ne- you won't live long. Can you warn your brother for me? Honor your parents. It's one of the covenant defense systems. Honor, 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 honor. Honor your parents. Honor. Number three, defense. these are defense systems. Honor spiritual authority. Don't play with men of God. Don't play with men that God has raised as a spiritual authority over your life. Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 10. A lady called Miriam rose up against Pastor Moses. Even though Pastor Moses was his junior brother, but the man has become a pastor. He has moved from ordinary to extraordinary. God has put oil on him. And Miriam and his brother, they joined together. They speak against Moses. Put it in New King James. I want to read it very quickly. I want to explain that these seven covenant principles to you. You follow them, you may not need to drink any medicine. Then Miriam and Aaron speak against Moses because of the Ethiopian wife. Moses saw some black lady. The lady was fine. And the man of God married her. It's not a, it's not, it's not a, 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 a concubine. Married her. And I thank God the Bible put it clear. Because Moses, eh, because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. Yahweh. Then he emphasizes again. He had married an Ethiopian woman. He, don't, he doesn't want you to know that the man did it. He really married a woman. Then Miriam. So they said, has the Lord in this spoken only through Moses? Has he not spoken through us also? Me to have finished school of the work. My friend, you are not the only man of God. I'm a Sunday school teacher. What are you talking about? And the Lord heard it. First they were talking against the man of God. Have you been dis- dis- discussing your pastor in your bedroom? And what have you been saying? What have you been saying? Now the man Moses was very humble. Most of the time when a pastor is very humble, that's when people mess up around. More than all the men who were on the face of the earth. They saw a proud man, but God saw a humble man. Suddenly the Lord said to Moses and Aaron and Miriam, come out, you there, to the tabernacle of the meeting. So the three came. And the Lord came down in the pillar of cloud at the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both went forward. And this is what he said. Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I the Lord, make myself known to him in visions. I speak to him in dreams. Let's verse. Not so with my servant Moses. He is a faith, he's faithful in all my house. Hey, be careful the way you judge people. Off. They say Moses is somewhere, 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 somewhere. He has gone to marry a black, whatever. Racism didn't start today. The days of Moses. Black people are suffering everywhere. <laughs> I speak with him face to face, even plainly, not in dark saying. And he sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So the anger of the Lord was aroused against them, and he departed. And when the cloud departed from above the tabernacle, suddenly Miriam became leprous as white as snow. The sickness of leprosy came on Miriam. He was his brother, it, it didn't change anything. Spiritual authority. Watch out. Today people talk against men of God anyhow. But people don't watch the future of such men and the things that happen to them. One day the man of God, Bishop Oedipo, was preaching. And he made a comment about a, a particular Orthodox church. And there was a lady in the church who used to go to that church. It was like their family church, but now he has joined a charismatic church. So, Papa Oedipo made that comment. And the lady took her back. Whilst the service was going on, and they did. <laughs> Lizzie, bring your back. Like as I'm preaching, I say something, you're not happy. Then you just... <laughs> 15 years, she couldn't get birth. The Lord dropped a stone in her stomach. She was a lawyer. Lawyer, book long. <laughs> she started running from church to church, church to church. The husband's people have come that divorced this woman. 
She's another man. The woman now became desperate, jumping from place to place. Then he met a prophet, and the prophet said, mm, you have hurt a man of God. She couldn't even remember. So Papa Oedipo was there. Fifteen years later, and the lady came, Papa, Papa, forgive me. He said, what have you done? I don't even know you. And he said, hey, you don't need to know me. You were preaching one day, and I haste, and there's a black stone in my stomach. You know, Papa Oedipo, good man, he, he shouted, Jesus, have mercy. Nine months later, she gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. On a spiritual authority. Number four. Quickly, number four. Covenant defense system. You want to live long? You don't want to get some of these dangerous sicknesses that kill people. Walk in love. First John 3, 14 and 15. A Christian should not say, I have somebody I hate. No, that's not Christianity. We know that we have passed from death to life. Look at it. We have passed from death to life because we do exercise every morning. We do massaging. We play golf. Because we love the brain. Do they look at us? Pastors fighting. Quarries that's fighting. Husband and wife double fighting. <laughs> Prophet and pastor fighting. We are all sick. We have passed. How many want to move from death to life? Say love, love, love. The fact that somebody says something you didn't like doesn't mean hate the person. Mm, no, 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 no. Just say it is his opinion. Well, let him go wherever I want to go. Because we love the brethren, Christians. He that loveth not his brother abided in death. Is it in your Bible? Are you, do you hate anybody? He that loveth not his brother abided in death. Somebody made a comment about your wedding. 15 years ago, you are still angry. Somebody didn't attend your mother's funeral. You see him at the love entrance, you pass supernatural entrance. Many, many people have even left because of funeral, because of the dead. Because of the dead. Yes. Some are not talking to their own brothers and sisters in the same family. What kind of Christian are you? Madam, you will be sick. Oh. Brother, you will be sick. We are past. I, one of my ladies, I, I love her too much. She has a sister. The woman doesn't, it's not, her, her lifestyle is way, way out of life. She just created a problem. My daughter will go and solve. Create a, but I've never seen her say one day she hit her sister. You always say, Bishop, I'm praying for her. Uh, that should be your attitude. Your own sister, biological, you are not talking to somebody. In the church, you are not talking to somebody. You want to live well? We pass from life, death to life. The enemy cannot withstand love. When we walk in love, he can attack us with sickness, bitterness, unforgiveness, offenses are the doorway for the enemy to attack you. Hebrews 12, 14 and 15. I know church people don't like this kind of preaching, but that's the preaching today. It's going to, many medicines are not sweet, but it will heal you. Pursue peace with all men. Tell your friend, pursue peace with all men. Say it again to that sister. Pursue peace with all men. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. 15, look at 15. Looking diligently. Lest any man fail of the grace of God. Lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. So bitterness troubles people. Thereby many be defined. It's like cancer. Cancer. If you have anybody you have been fighting for the last seven years, send a message. You. And today he say, I forgive you. I want to live long. What, what, how are you going to type the message? I what? I want to let him know the reason why you are forgiving. He shouldn't be thinking that why you're weak in dinner. I forgive you because I want to live long. Because some people, when you send, I forgive you. 
Somebody love is a different. Number five, serve in the house of God. Serving in the house of God causes God to service your destiny. God has a service plan. He services, he does not service everybody. When you serve in his house, he services your destiny. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. He shall serve the Lord thy God. He shall bless thy bread and thy water. And he will take sicknesses from the midst of thee. He shall serve the Lord thy God. When you serve in his house, he services your destiny. Yes. Serve. Find a place to serve. Join the prayer team. Join the ushers. Ladies with them. You have a regard. Join him. You have a macho body. Join CCTV or protocol. You see, don't let this proud idea enter your brain. It's people who don't do anything who serve in the house of God. Mm. You say you, you are part of event. When was the last time you joined them? When we were doing something? You shall serve the Lord thy God. He will take away sickness. Number six, joy. Somebody say joy. Today when we were dancing, I was checking those who are not dancing. Proverbs 17, 22. Joy doeth well like medicine. The more joyful you are, the longer you live. Joy is a medicine. A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit dry the bones. It's my Joy makes you an impossible case for the devil. An impossible case. Number seven. So winning. Hmm. Proverbs 13, 17. Proverbs 13, 17. As I pray, when I finish now, take us through that same praises we did. At the beginning, many miracles are going to break out. Well, as soon as I finish point seven, jump on the altar. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but the faithful ambassador is held. Anyone that goes around telling people Jesus loves you, inviting people to church, God will keep you strong. John 15, 2. John 15, 2. Mm. Every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth, that he may bring forth fruit. So when you are a soul winner, God keeps you strong. So let the praise team come now. We are going to dance. Look for your handkerchief. How many want to be healed today? Jump on your feet. Prepare your, your anointing oil. Hot one, eight solid minutes. Get ready for the praise. I want to go to the hall. Someone lift up your handkerchief. Let's praise him. Hey! Yeah. 
of anointing oil. It's time for healing. Now I'm holding in my hand 10 testimonies. All of them came out of praise. 10 healing testimonies. Adabo Brosi Crusade. All of them linked to praise and dancing. This one said the cough and the chest pain suddenly ceased, disappeared after praise. Pain in the leg and stomach healed after praise. Heal of headache after praise. Pain in the ear miraculously heal after praise. Healing of headache after praise and dance. Heal of stomach after praise. Body pains after praise. Abdominal after praise. Chest pains after praise. All of them connected to praise. Connected to praise. The God you have just praised is going to push away your sickness. Lift your bottle of oil if you have one. At the beginning of every month, that first Sunday is anointing service. And where do we pick our healing from? Mark 6.13. Mark 6.13. I want you to see it. So anytime you pick your bottle of oil and you want to pray about healing, you quote that scripture. Because we are dealing with covenant. 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 And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. So there is a connection between the oil and your healing. They cast out many devils. So demonic oppression will leave somebody today. And they 
don't think that what you are carrying is frightful. No, 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 no. No. I turn this oil into him. He James 3 14 and provoke the command. Come this way. Come this way. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your heart, glowing up and lying out against the truth. Verse 15. But wisdom descended not from above, but is early. No, James 5. James 5, 14. James 5. I'm not preaching on wisdom. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. I know some of my brothers are saying, in the New Testament, you don't need oil. No problem. You know, be fight. I'm reading. Today, all kinds of doctrine. It's not important. What I need is my healing. They pray, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. You see, this one is not something that has happened. He's giving you a prescription. Is any sick among you? They are not supposed to be sick, but in case someone is sick, call for the elders. And this one doesn't mean deacons. Call for matured believers. Matured believers. People that understand kingdom mysteries. Let them pray over him. Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. My God. 15. And the prayer of faith. Praying knowing this is not fright at all. But it's a healing bar. Shall save the sick. Boy. The Lord shall raise him up. Even if he has committed any sins. He shall be forgiven. Lift your oil. Father, in the name of Jesus, we activate the healing powers in the oil today. And I command the pain in your head to disappear. I command the pain in your stomach to go. I command the pain at your back to go. Stomach ulcer disappear. Asthma go. Pain go. Breast cancer, go. Amen. Lump in the breast, go. Amen. Anything called sickness. Yes. Some of you are walking. There's a lot of medicine in your back. Today, be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray over the oil. Yes, Lord. I turn it into the physician's mm. medicine. Yes. In the mm. mighty name of Jesus, let the healing begin to flow. Amen. Pour a little in your palm. Pastors carry this once. Some people are new convert. They didn't bring oil. On the mountain of Zion. You are going to cast that sickness. It's not a joke. You are not that place in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the healing covenant. I have a covenant with God. Nobody should play games right now. That sickness came to kill you. Don't play games. Apply the oil, and on the basis of the healing covenant, you cause that sickness. You took it from your mother, you took it from your father, you took it from the environment. In the Abrahamic family, sickness is not part of our inheritance. You send that sickness back to hell. Apply the oil, start to talk right now. I'll give you two minutes to minister to yourself. Cast that sickness, cast it wherever the sickness is. I want to hear some dangerous prayers. I'm going home free. This sickness will not torment me anymore. There is a boy. Look for the boy right now. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues like a warrior. Rakata <laughs> 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 
Talk to your body now. Wherever there is pain, you are a student, you can understand. Lay the oil on your forehead and cast that spirit in the name of Jesus. Pray like a warrior. Don't stand there and choke. The sickness came to keep every oppression of the devil. Come on, lay your hands. Look for where the sickness is. And cross it by faith. Bani Boko. Bani Boko. Every oppression of the devil over your life be cursed in the name of Jesus. Thy beat is good. Mike, then I curse you. Your children cannot see well. Remove your glasses, anoint your eyes, and cause that sickness in the name of Jesus. I have a covenant with God. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to carry this body. Somebody war now. Declare war. Declare war. They say you are buried. No seed of Abraham is buried. Cause the spirit of barrenness. Open up the womb in the name of Jesus. Your mother's sickness has jumped on you. Cross it out of your mouth. Badi Mokota. Rakatata. Reketekata. Baliku Balekete. Receive your healing. By the misery of the oil. Let your eyes not be clear. In the name of Jesus. You are watching online. Stand up, don't sit down. And cross that sickness. Take oil and anoint the place. You don't have understanding. Anoint your mind. You can't see well. Anoint your eye. There is pain in your breast. Anoint your breast. And command the pain to die. In the name of Jesus. I am the seed of Abraham. I'm not supposed to be sick. Rabba Kadobosha. Pamini Mokomoro. Come on, come on, pray. Rabba Kadagada. Koita, I cross you. Rebo Koto. Pamini Mokomoka. Yigre Kadagada. I am healed. Declare yourself healed. I am healed. I command that thing moving in my body to disappear out of my body. Something is moving inside your body. Don't watch it like a gentleman. Don't be gentle. Pray like a warrior. Cause that sickness. Any curse around your life, cause it to disappear. Robo Shetetete Sukima By the mystery of the oil By the mystery of the oil Barrenness give way Bamiboko Give this stone disappear Give this stone disappear Give this stone disappear Koita disappear Asma disappear Osa disappear The beat is cold By the oil I cross you. Be here. 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 Be Many believers pamper the works of the devil. I have opened to you the healing covenant. When I quoted Deuteronomy, Old Testament, he said, he healed them all. So which one are you going to carry today? Don't tell me they gave you these glasses 15 years ago. My friend, do you think Jesus was there? He will let you wear glasses? Put your faith on the line. Put your faith on the line. Get angry and say, This is not from God. Challenge that pain. Challenge the sickness. Don't agree with the doctors. They saw it for you, but you must clear it out yes, of your life. Yes. Now listen to me. In the days of Ora Robert, his anointing was in his power. Ora Robert can sit down, lay hands on 10,000 people. One day after laying hands on such a number of people, man of God stood up very tired. Going home. 
a woman confronted him at the car park with a, a son who was crippled. He said, Mr. Robert or whatever you call yourself, I don't know your name. I must be healed today. Hey! You know that when the woman said, I came to be healed. I didn't come to joke. Or Robert said, Mama, I'm very, very tired. Eh? And by the way, the anointing is lifted. I can't pray for you today. Go and come tomorrow. He said, no. <laughs> I must be healed today. I decided to be healed today. How many will decide to be healed right now? Or Robert said, woman of God, I'm tired. I don't have faith to pray. He said, I didn't tell you to have faith. You do the praying, I'll do the faithing. You do, you do the praying. I'll do the faithing. Lift your hand. I stretch my hands towards you. I command your body to be well. Yes. Let the, the aiming that you shout determines whether you are receiving. Amen. I said today, I command your body to be well. Amen. I command your head to be well. Amen. Your stomach to be well. Amen. Your breast to be well. Amen. Your eye to be well. Amen. Your ear to be well. Amen. Your bones to be well. Amen. No more hypertension. Amen. No more diabetes. Amen. Asthma, go. Amen. Diabetes, I cost you. Amen. Jesus. Cancer dissolve. Amen. Anything moving inside your body. Jesus. But the anointing, I cause it to come out. Jesus' name. I cause it to come out. Amen. Kidney stones disappear. Jesus' name. Ulcer go. Amen. Asthma go. Amen. Any sickness that has a name. I cause you. Jesus. Come out of the people's Amen. body. Deliver every child of God. Yes, Lord. For I am the Lord. Mm. That he led thee. That operation is cancer. Amen. That appointment with death is cancer. Amen. Jesus. Bone marrow disease be here. Amen. Blurry eyes be here. Amen. Blood nose be open. Amen. Blood ears be open. Amen. Migraine disappear Amen. now. Jesus. Stomach ache go now, now, Amen. now, now. Amen. Amen. Any bone disease. For I am the Lord. That healer thee. Receive your healing by faith. Amen. Don't be. Celebrating sickness anniversary. This sickness has been with me for 17 years. What nonsense. What nonsense. Get angry right now. They told you there is something in your stomach. Lay your hands, you have anointed. And he said, disappear now, now, disappear now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. And the Lord will take away all sicknesses. Mm, all. Somebody say all sicknesses. All sicknesses. Say all sicknesses. All sicknesses. Say therefore. Therefore. Any sickness. Any sickness. That remains in my body. That remains in my body. Go now. Command it. Go, Go now. Go Go now. By the healing covenant. Go, Go now. now. The Lord shall take away all sicknesses. Go now, go now. I am not an Egyptian. I am a seed of Abraham. I don't have all sickness. Come on, go now, go now, go now. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. Open your mouth and speak. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking place. On that mountain on Zion, there's a healing swing. Something is flowing in your body. Lift your hands. Lift your hands and worship Him. Thank you for your healing. There's a healing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. On the mountain of Zion, you are healed. There's a healing swing. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, 
is your healing. When the angels test the water, <laughs> whosoever first step into it, I see the healing streams flow. Take your healing by faith. Take your healing by faith. I see many people are healed this morning. That pain is gone out of your body. Somebody said, receive it by faith. Come on, 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 come on. Come on. Healing stream is stirring. Oh, yes. Healing stream is flowing. Oh, yes. Healing is gone. That pain is gone. Check your body. It's gone. It's gone. Do what you couldn't do before. Don't pamper sickness. Let's say healing is flowing. Come on. Everybody now, do what you could do. Jesus Christ. If you have faith, wherever you are anointed, check it. The pain is gone. Don't play games. Play katara, katara, katara. And oh, what a joy. I feel my soul. Something happened. Something happened. Happy. And now, I know. Sister, check your body. He touched you. Woo! Something happened. He touched me. He touched me. Everybody, lift your hand. Oh. Somebody, lift your hand. Sometimes when we pray like this, people think that because nobody said anything. Listen to that girl. Mm. She was here. She said, I'm waiting for six months to verify. Ah. Turn to your neighbor and say, Something has happened to you Something today. Something has happened. Something. God's word never fails. Hallelujah. Now, in 30 seconds, stand up. You are going to jump seven times. Everybody do listen, don't play games. Yes, sir. The healing oil is here. Everybody do what you couldn't do before. And when you see a change, run to the altar. Mm. Come and shamify the devil and tell that devil that sickness is gone. You are jumping hallelujah seven times. Number one, hallelujah. hallelujah. Number two, hallelujah. hallelujah. Number three, hallelujah. all those who see see Joseph jump around. Hallelujah. 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 You are here. Here is the truth. Every testimony mm. is a disgrace of the devil's kingdom. Aye, 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 aye. So this morning, if God has disgraced the devil in your life, mm. come to the altar. Don't look at anybody. Now, Psalm 119 46 says, He says, I will tell of your testimonies. I will tell. You came here, you couldn't turn your waist, now you can turn. After the oil, you felt some heat in your body. Come out right now. 
Come on, you are a pastor, whatever. Last week in Lighthouse, it was the bishop that invited me who owned her first. He said, my shoulder. I've not been able to play God for two years. As you pray, Jesus. the pain lifted. Mm. You are at the top. Come here. You have received a touch in your body. Touch. Suddenly something left. Shh, shh. Come out. Mm. Let's disgrace the enemy here. Amen. Yes. yes. Come from everywhere. You receive a touch. Something happened to you. Something happened. Migraine suddenly goes. Mm. Your leg is working. Da, 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 da. Come from everywhere. Outside. Dominion wherever you are. As soon as you sense a touch. You are a pastor. You are whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm. Come out. Some of you will really be like that girl. I'm going to check. Okay, okay, go and check. But there are some that are be here right now. Yes. He's a lover of God. Mm. Your love is supernatural. It's all good. I'm waiting. Many have been touched this morning. Come out that your waste is gone. As you testify, the devil loses his grip over your life. Yes. Yes. Come out. Tell the Lord what Jesus has done. Yes, sir. Go tell them. I'm worried for you. Come on, check your body. Check the migraine. It's gone. Shake your head. Open that glass and say, look at the light. If you don't take your healing by faith, you are going to lose it. Do what you couldn't do before. You couldn't look at the light. Open your eyes, fear, and check it. Check your ear. Let somebody speak it to your ear. Supernatural love, bring it here. If you are outside, come in. You are watching online. Send your testimony. Send your testimony. You know, you know the meaning of that song. God is my strength. Hallelujah. The healing still continues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I pray, God hears. As we worship, Hallelujah. Let's take all the testimonies. Hosanna, Hosanna. When we testify, we are saying, God is still alive. You see, some churches they make it as if they serve a dead God. Nobody testify. So what are we in the church for? Nobody testify in the shrine. Jesus is alive. And therefore, he is doing what he used to do. Don't let us make it as if he's not doing anything. We shouldn't become a bunch of ungrateful people. Look how if this lady has not shared testimony. We may never know six months ago. Jesus, you see, that's why when it comes to Thanksgiving, don't say you don't know what he has done. If God follows us, he'll kill all of us. He has healed this lady six months ago. We have not thanked him for that. Lift your hands and thank God for all those God healed. Who, have, who didn't even testify? Kuka. Come here, man of God, come here. You told me, breakfast meeting, a lady came here. Share the testimony. Let people know. She's here. Don't worry, share the testimony. When we finish, I'll call her. So she had a, a, a lump in the breast, and after the service, she went home and realized that the lump had disappeared. It disappeared? Where, where is she? You know her? Yes. Madam. Madam, if you are hearing your testimony, Janice, come here. Janice. Your testimony will encourage somebody. That's it. Clap your hands for this beautiful lady who is going to have her wedding very soon. Don't say, now listen to me. All this I wish I wish I know. When Jesus touches you, 
tell the whole world, Mama, come here. You are too beautiful to hide. Come. The woman with the issue of blood, Savior, if that woman has hidden her testimony, do they won't get anything to preach you? Mama, what happened to you when you came? See, I'm trying to prove to the devil. Not me. Me, I'm not anybody. I don't heal anybody. Rather, I just run away to go and weary. I'm also a human being. <laughs> I ran away from the altar. Something was pressing me. So, I'm also a human being. We are glorifying Jesus. And when you glorify him for one, he give you ten. Then he give you twenty. Then he give you... Beautiful. What happened that day? I've been having a lump in my brain. You talk to me. Don't mind the people. When you tell me, I will tell them. No, no, no. Speak in the microphone. <laughs> Since SHS. Yeah. You've been having what? A lump in my breast. A lump in your breast. So, it was... With pain. And with pain. Sometimes fluid comes. Sometimes fluid. No problem. Yeah. And I went to the hospital three times. You went to the hospital three times. Ishmael, are you alive? Three to times. Scan. To do a scan. Yes. And they said they can't find anything. But then I, I could still feel a pain. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the place can swell and then I can't wear anything. Okay, and I understand it. Um, when we came for... So, so when you came for the bathing, what happened? You didn't even know what happened? Yes. But then the following day when I woke up, the pain and the... Pain was and there. everything was there. It's been one year now. It's one year now. Yeah. It's passed. One year has passed. It's, yes, it's passed one year. Do the calculation. It's passed one year. Yeah, I had my... The, um, it was 2020 oh, breakfast. 2020 breakfast. Four years ago. So you are telling me God didn't do anything. Can you jump and shout a big hallelujah for God? Tell your friend we don't even thank so. This one we have not even thank God for it. God bless you. God will give you a very nice husband. And you will not live in Ghana. You, you, you go and live in Ghana. So, baby, you two, you are hiding your testimony seven years ago. Four years ago, we have not thanked him. So when we come, we are dancing like antelope. Don't ask us why. He has done so many things we don't even know. Man of God. Daddy. Tell us what Jesus has This gentleman says that for more than five years, mm -hmm. he's been battling with ulcer, stomach ulcer. ulcer. And it causes no. him so much pain that even this morning, whilst he was coming, the pain was so intense. And so he came believing God for a touch for of healing. A touch of healing. As soon as he applied the oil and you prayed, the pain disappeared. Oh, and somebody believes, give us a The ulcer is gone. If you Thank keep you quiet, Jesus. I have a problem with you. Thank you, Jesus. LGBT people are shouting. You are a child of God. You can shout. Thank you, Lord. Is it all people don't know what is happening in church, so they are following devils. The pain is gone. Boy, what's your name? Abdul Rahman said, You come from my hometown. We used to carry Quran. What food do you like? Banku. Do they go and finish it all? Amen. Finish it all. God bless you. Somebody clap your hand for healing. Abdul Ram Rahman. Wow. Daddy, wow. Uh, Papa here says that he's this been Kukas diagnosed Fana. with Fana. prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And for some days now, the symptoms have been so severe, mm. including this morning. But as he applied the anointing oil, all the symptoms to the glory of God has vanished. Are you sitting down like that? Give Jesus a praise. Glory, glory, glory. Papa, God bless you. Glory. And God bless you for coming. You are looking younger every day. Good to see you. What happened Sister to you? says that she's been having severe pain in her chest and in her waist. But after the praise, that pain is gone to the glory the of God. The pain is gone to the glory of God. God bless you. What Blood happened to you, Mama? Come here. Disgrace by the power of Blood God. Blood knows. Heal forever in Jesus' Our name. Our lady pastor here says that she's been having sharp pains sharp in her pains. tummy. But wow. now the pain is gone Somebody to the glory of God. Somebody clap your hands for the Lord. That he so had Lord? pain in his neck. His back, neck, back everywhere. And when he couldn't turn his neck, wow! But as you pray, suddenly somebody called him, and he was able to turn his neck. <laughs> that was when he realized. So that turn your healed. neck, turn your neck, turn your neck. Oh, yeah. You couldn't do something as simple as like this. Oh, Jesus, be praised. God bless you, Mama. Come here. What happened? 
She also says that she had pain in the chest. In the chest. But as we pray, the pain as has pray, disappeared. The pain has disappeared. God bless you. Professor, what is happening there? There is another powerful testimony here. For the past one week, our sister couldn't eat any solid hey, food. Me, come here. Get the person's full face. Hmm? Our sister couldn't Don't eat waste my cameras. Hmm. any solid food because of pain you in the neck. cannot eat solid food. Pain in the throat. In the throat. Yes. But as you instructed us to apply the communion, the oil, she did. Oh. And as you pray, the pain disappeared. Now, she could come feel here. Go to help you, Margaret. Go and eat and come. He has food. Where is she? Oh, she's taking. Uh, help you, Joycelyn. Go outside and find food for this woman. Eat it now. And come in. Media, my Jesus is alive. Oh, no, no, he's not there. Leave it, Jesus. Beautiful lady, what happened to you? Papa, sister got injured in the ankle. But as you prayed and ministered, she received her healing instantly. You have some pain there. I slipped from the stairs. You slipped from the stairs. Last two weeks. So I couldn't wear heel all through last week too. You couldn't wear heel. Yes. But now the heel is healing well. Can well, even well. jump Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Did you capture it? Help me. What happened to this lady? Daddy, Jesus is alive here. He's not dead. Too alive. Daddy, this is Letitia. She hasn't been able to bend over for the last three months. Wow. And in service, as she jumped, she can suddenly bend. That doesn't hurt anymore. She couldn't do. You see, some of guy, if it was your wife who couldn't bend, you are going to have problems. Though. <laughs> Man of God, you are going to have problems. Jesus is healing people. Since last week, this young lady has had also back pain and back chest pain. pain. And, chest on, pain. and on Tuesday, the first day of the healing services, oh, wow. she became healed. She got healed on Tuesday. Come here. Clap your hands for the Lord. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Daddy, our sister here says that since 2022, 2022 she's been years suffering ago. from numbness from the palm, from the palm, finger, this finger up to side. the elbow. My God. And she read about it and they said it's called cubital tunnel syndrome. Cubital tunnel syndrome. Because of that. The name she, alone can kill you. <laughs> My God. Because of that, she couldn't put this <laughs> finger together. But now, right now, after the anointing, she can now put all the four fingers together and the pain is gone. Get ready to gone. hold your They're flyers on your wedding Amen. day. Amen. Your flower, you'll be holding it like this. Carry me, they go. Yo, carry me, they go. That devil is a liar. That is, she's been My dear lady. For one year, severe pain in her, in her tummy. Oh, and wow. today, in service, she, the pain shifted to the left, the, to the right moving. side. It mm. moved. And now, all of a sudden, it's oh, gone. Oh, thank you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Father, thank you for miracle healing in Jesus' name. She, she couldn't come to church two weeks ago because she had runny tummy. Your tummy was running. Wow. Right? Uh -huh. So now, but... <laughs> Today you told God. Tell me what you told God. I told God if I can come to church this morning, I will be healed. Wow. Allow me to come. Woo! So I was here and I woke him I told God if I come to church this morning, I will be healed. Mama, you are healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Papa, Thank there you, is Lord. another powerful one here. Mm. So, our sister had been battling with pain in the breast. Pain in the breast? Yes, and then heart burns. And heart burns. But as you prayed, he felt a touch, and all of a sudden, you felt could, a touch. She could feel relief. And all of a sudden, you are healed. I pronounce you healed. Amen. 100% healed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody give God some praise. And for the past two years, Mama had been battling with stomach ulcer. Stomach ulcer. And then pain all around the body. She couldn't do now, many This ulcer, things. is it because people eat too much or they don't eat? Which one? <laughs> but as you pray to Mama, we have full energy. But I am. MFM, MFM, MFM. Clap your hands for the Lord. <laughs> Sir, what happened to you? Our brother had been suffering from diarrhea. Diarrhea. He went to the hospital and was given some medicine. But the more he takes the medicine, the more the diarrhea. The more he's diarrhea. Yes. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. And as he came to church. As he came to church today. And you instructed to apply the oil. The oil. He did. Mm. And immediately. Immediately. He could feel cessation of the flu. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Anybody who said thank you, Jesus, he will give you something to thank him about. Young man, come here. He headache as well. He has severe headache. God bless you. Completely. God bless you. Because of time, run. Our brother too had been suffering from severe chest pain, chest pain. over the years. Mm. But as you pray today, mm. he could feel some kind of easiness, easiness. within the body. And believe that he is completely Somebody praise healed. God for, for chest pains here. Yes, madam. Daddy, our beautiful usher here, she said for a while now she's been having body pain and like symptoms of a flu or cold. But today she feels completely healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Clap your hands for the Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. This gentleman says anytime he steps his foot on the ground, Adonai, Adonai. he can feel like electric shock coming from In your legs. his legs. Wow. And then the Lord has completely taken that No pain more away. electric shock. In the name of Jesus. Papa, a brother says he, he's been doubting the healing of Jesus in the church over for he's some time son. now. Mm. Now, when he came today, he'd been battling with stomach ache. In the stomach. In, in the stomach. But now, he doubted that Jesus doesn't heal. Yes. But today, as you began to preach, he said, ah, today, let me see this power mm. of God through this man of God. So he didn't even have oil, but somebody poured oil, oil. in his My hands God. and applied it in the, in the stomach. Then all of a sudden, he could see himself turning all around. And now he could feel free. He Somebody could see that the pain Lord is gone and, and believe strongly that power is here. Daddy, he says that for a while now he's had pain in his nuffle, in his, in his man breast. And for the long... <laughs> this side. And he showed me. Please show Daddy. One oh, okay. side, you can see it's big. The other side now this is one, small. Yeah, one, is, one side is small and one side is so big. It be it's, it be two. It be two. Four years now. Four years now. So he prayed this morning on one go. Uh, uh. I don't think you'll see what he's saying. Hey, come here. Bring the car. You see, this one is like a woman's breast. This one. And this one is like my own, flat. Give me oil. So as we pray, one of them just disappeared. Eh? Everybody stretch your hands here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we command this thing to go! Heal! In the mighty name of Jesus, let this affliction leave your son. This appear in the name of Jesus. Heal. Set him free from every form of affliction. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let somebody shout, Amen. Tuesday, come back and give me full testimony. Clap your hands for the Lord for this gentleman. Say, come here quickly. Papa, our brother had been suffering from severe pain in one half of the head. Half of the head. And from Friday to Tuesday, he couldn't sleep. Yes. He was invited to church service mm. this morning. And as you prayed, he could feel that the pain is you gone. You are healed. You are healed. Mama, come here. Now, our sister says she had no joy in her life. Everybody tried to say something to make her happy, but she couldn't feel that joy. Mm. But when she came to the church today... Lord. And your ministers, she could feel some happiness. I got joy, 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 joy. And I see your joy.
All right. It's the first. No, we need baby and family. Baby and family. They say, Tini Koko Mbana Mtimuno. Tini Koko Mbana Mtimuno. Now, the other one now, the man. Don't close the man. That's one of the grandfathers of solid food. The lady who was only drinking tea as eating cake. Give the Lord a shower of food. You are healed. You are healed. Somebody clap your hands for the Lord. I got joy, joy, joy. Take your offering. Joy, joy, joy. Are you having some joy? Song and getting a car, a new house, a new breakthrough, anything that will make you joyful. Some are getting husbands, some are getting pregnant. Sing the song again. I got joy, 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 joy. Ladies and gentlemen, take your offering as part of the healing covenant. Blessed is he that considered the poor. The Lord will raise him up from his sick bed. Abba. Offering is no low to. It's no low to. Can be A to no. <laughs> the things that come out of your offering, money can buy. We take only one offering in this church, so make it a heavy offering. Heavy lies the offering. We have so many things ahead of us, crusade. Now, one of our desires is to get more buses. Our buses are left with only two. Get more buses to bring people to church. Bring bus people to church. Help the poor to come to church. Father, thank you for seed. Bless every seed so well. Amen. Ushers, can you run very quickly? We declare from tomorrow going as seven days of radical soul winning. In the morning, you talk to one soul. In the evening, one soul. So every day, you are talking to two people. One in the morning, one in the evening. One in the morning. One. If you can do afternoon to add it to it. Seven days. So tomorrow, the youth, when you meet, you go on outreach. Every group, outreach, outreach, outreach. Evening rain, morning rain, afternoon rain. I saw one of our ladies in Pastor Faith's group. Pastor Faith has gone to the village to check one or two things. And this lady carried the sticker. I said, who is preaching today? I said, I'm the one preaching. I said, that's good. Apostolos Evangelist. Everybody in this church must be able to preach. Everybody in this church must be able to invite somebody. Everyone. Everyone. So, you want to give by PayPal? Those of you watching from abroad, maybe in Ghana, you want to give PayPal. MTN, Tico, whatever. Drop your seed and let's multiply the work of God. And God is going to bless us. Somebody shout amen. Okay, that's, that's very powerful. All the single ladies and single boys, where are they? Raise your hands. If maybe you are living with a lady. You think it's your wife. It's not your wife. You are cohabiting. Raise your hands. Anyone who have not gone to the altar for pastor to bless you, for people to collect a contasikai and whatever, you are part of those I'm calling. Next Sunday, special singles night. <laughs> and the team is, the knowledge you need. to Now hear me. The Lord told me it is not love that keeps marriage. Now hear me. Because love is a feeling. You see, you can just love something. It's not love that keeps knowledge. Marriage is knowledge. Knowledge. Knowing how to talk, how to cook, how to sleep, 
how to clean. These are the things. You see some women when they are talking, now over him from the ever. Look at a woman talking like this, the marriage will not work. Now over him from the ever. You are talking like a man. You need knowledge to keep. So he told me, forget all these things people say. If you love somebody, marry. No. Learn about marriage. Don't say you love. Everybody can love. Love is a feeling. So, we are tired about so many people. They marry. Today, you go to marriage school. People marry two years. They go, they call me. This after Kuma. I'm not going to do again. You are not going, you will do again. And you simple, simple thing. Some of them, what is the reason? They can't even tell the reason. Lack of knowledge. You want a new, a new baby. You, you want a new baby. New problems. So now, next, next Sunday is going to be very well. Invite a friend. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Father, thank you for offering. Bless us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, it's time to prepare for heaven. You are here, you know you don't have a ticket and a visa. If Jesus comes right now, you will, not, you will make it. You saw Zacharias, Azarias. Today there are many, 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 many people who used to be Muslim, like my Zacharias. It's not by force. Don't, tell it, don't let anybody tell you. I'm the, you are not anything. You are a child of God. I am this. I'm a Buddhist. You are not. It's God that created you. You are a child of God. Don't go and carry something on yourself and go to hell. You are here, you are not born again. Or what you are following, they don't tell you about heaven. You can't follow that one. Anything you are following, they can't tell you about heaven and hell. It's not the right path. Everything has two sides. Male or female. Black or white. This one, we don't know the color. You are not born again, you must be born again. People are telling people in America not to go out tomorrow because there is an earthquake. And one biblical eschatologist was trying to trace. He said, this eclipse happening tomorrow is happening on the same day darkness came upon Egypt. They trace it to about 5,000 years ago. The tomorrow day, you know, is the same day that darkness came upon Egypt. Some, some judgment is coming on this rebellious generation. And you must escape that judgment. And if you want to chill, I want to tell you, this earth is not a place to chill. Do so won't let your chilling chill. Dollar running will not let your chilling chill. Hospitals. Don't, you know, don't try to be, don't try to do, you can only be happy in the Lord, not on this earth. Wickedness is increasing. All you need to buy your ticket and get ready for the second coming of Christ. And when we go, all our problems will be over. All our problems will be over. Pastor, I'm not born again today. I want to give my life to Jesus. Please, stand on your feet. Don't play games. Oh, tell them about winning Jesus. Winning baby or who are Men can say whatever. So reach down us. Give your life to Christ, young boy, young lady. Don't be proud. Hey, this, 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 this. hey you don't know Jesus, you have no future. You know if Jesus comes this morning, you are not going. Jump on your feet. I'm begging you. Except a reverend be kept, the whole nation will turn into Sodom and Gomorrah. My God. You are on your feet. Because you have not received the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Please make your way to the altar. I beg you. I beg Beg you in the name of the Lord. Who name me Jesus? Who name you? Now you will not make it to heaven. Baby, I will be a jump on every. To an amount every. Men found life for years. Those who hate you are telling you. You don't have to go to church. You know they are haters of your destiny. But those who love you will say, "Hey boy, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God." Even if one person stands here. The whole church must be shouting. One. One. God bless you, brother.
God bless you for giving your life to Jesus. Yes. Brother, come, what's it? Come. And there's no be any baby. Except Jesus. Except Jesus. Hmm. Yesterday, Donald Trump said, any nation where they tell children that they are trapped in their body and therefore they, they, nobody can tell them you are, you, are, you are a girl, you are a boy. That nation is an accursed nation. No nation. These are men who have correct mentality. When it's time to vote, people are voting for all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Any and that. All over the world. See the kind of leaders we have. People without the knowledge of God. And so, human suffering continues. People without the knowledge of God. Another opportunity to vote. People without the knowledge of God. When you say, they say, you shouldn't say it. I'm saying my own. You can also say your own. People without the knowledge of God leading people all over the world. That's how our troubles are multiplying. So I can't promise you any good thing on earth, but I can promise you heaven. Put your hands together for the Lord. My God. Put your hands. Say, Jesus. You know, the other day I met a guy. He just came from Musa Womi. Very angry. He said, Moses said, He used to follow one politician. The man gave him promises. He said, after they won their power, when I mentioned my name at the gate, they said, we don't know you. Curse is everyone that depends on the arm of the flesh. Which year was that? Many, many years ago. Some year, a certain year. Come to Jesus and stay. Drunk. Went to. When you hear the gospel, but me, there, my hope is here. My hope is built on nothing else. Say, Jesus, you are the right. Lift up your hands. Say, Jesus, you I believe. Come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord, save me. I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm born again today. Lord, write my name in the book of life. I want to make it to heaven. Amen. Follow Pastor Nanaya. Quickly, run. Run. Our time is fast spent. You want to give your tithe? Take it up. Titan takes you away from sicknesses. So take your tithe. Money is a defense. Money is a defense. Money is a defense. Money is a defense. When people show their medical budget, I don't have one. Yes. The highest I can go is F pack. F pack it on the same. <laughs> Some people, when they drop their medical bill, they can build a house. The highest I can go, you know, FPAC blows your head away. <laughs> this is what they do, medicine. Some people, when they show you their medical bill, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They can build a business. That will never be your portion on earth in Jesus' name. As you are tightening, you are tightening your way out of sickness. You are not helping the church. Before you came, we were here. Tight with knowledge, with knowledge, with knowledge. Hmm? Students must tight. Children must tight. Anybody who eats must tight. And God will secure you. You will go and get back to a, ch a child that is always chopping all your money in the hospital. Some, some mothers, they are always in hope and All these things have reasons. Yes. You went to that shrine and pay your tithe to that shrine. He gave you a gift. I will rebuild the devourer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give and it will come back to you. Give measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Give and it will come back to you. 
about it before coming to church you sit down you write a type if you don't have this one put it in an envelope you address it to God very nicely it's going to be a blessing today's first day coming to church you've never come to church here before in this our healing service please can I see you first time coming to church first time first time Tuesday the healing service continue first time please stand on your feet the ushers are going to give you a gift Stand on your feet. God bless you. First time. Mama, God bless you. Stand up. Ushers, can you direct them? Minister to them. Yes. 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 We need to build new places because even the children, they, they, they can't get a place. So we have to build something very, very soon. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. All the women, please. I heard them announcing women's ministry. Listen, when you are in the church, don't try to be independent. It's not going to help you. Don't be independent. The only animal that is independent is a snake. Snakes don't walk in the company of anybody. Anaconda walks alone. In fact, Anaconda, the day you give her, the baby say, Mama, bye-bye, I'll go your way. I'm also going my own way. If you are a woman, join the women's ministry. They are discussing marriage. Last time, they taught them how to cook, and I went there to test the food for them. Some of you don't know how to cook. That's true. That's true. You didn't go to catering school. You were living by yourself. So, so fried rice and cake you be buying. Uh, your, your husband now has a problem. They are teaching us how to cook for free, how to clean for free, oh, how to make omo and other things. So, this coming Women's Day program, everybody, leave me at the altar. What the name? sit in the house and say whatever I don't need whatever you need it I belong to many groups though. you fight me you are fighting many people live from Nigeria from Miami Florida I rose to be flying from all over the world hi hey, I'm sitting here Papa Jones is calling me don't, don't sit down no, you, nobody knows you don't know anybody hey hey so every woman with a womb Meet me at the altar. They don't, they don't meet me. Just once in a week. Go to fellowship with other women. Some of you, because you don't go amongst women, sometimes you feel you are a man. You are not. The way you are charging in the house is like you are a man. Be in the company of women so you can have feelings. Yeah. Women's ministry are meeting. Are you not a woman? So that's announcement uh, advert I'm making. Go there. Maybe at the altar something will drop. Out. Go there. We are all meeting. Glory to God. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shake somebody and say, you have a healing covenant with God. God bless you. All women, we are meeting. Please, 
women draw the program, put solo wrist inside. A prayer will sing on Wednesday. Put solo wrist inside for everybody. All the women we are meeting. And if you are a woman here, you have never greeted women's ministry leaders. It's new, exciting, and intense. Join Ghana's multi genre gospel maestro, Akase Brimpong, for his maiden DVD concert on the 21st of April 2024. Ministering is Akase Brimpong, Ohima Messi, Obapa Christi, and MOG Music. At the Holy Hill Chapel, Assemblies of God, Kwame Kuma Circle, at 5 p.m. Rates 50 Ghana for single, 80 Ghana for double, and 100 Ghana for VIP. You can buy your tickets at star 725 star 1900 hash. Star 725 star 1900 hash. Ticket outlets are Airport Shell, Vachoda Total, Sunny FM, EWC Prayer Factory, and the ticket hotline is 0247 174 167. Sponsors are Saxton, Feedems, Multi Choice Ghana, East Wing Clinic. Upswing, Mont, Dominion TV, Pen TV, Sunny TV, Sunny FM, City 97.3, Praise TV, City TV, GH1 TV, and Adam TV.